Hi guys, so I am so excited to be making videos again and before I jump into this video I just wanted to sort of explain why I haven't been making videos recently. So it's kind of convoluted, so first of all my grade <coughs> my grade in biology was sort of going downhill so I needed to work to get that back up and I thought I was only going to be taking off for like a couple weeks, like maybe three or four and then I was going to start making videos again um, about a month ago and then my laptop crashed and I just got around to um, sending it in to go get fixed so I should be starting to make videos more regularly um, within the next couple of weeks so I apologize for not putting up a video in like two whole months but I have been really really um, trying and I've just been so busy recently with like tryouts and everything going on so I should have more time in my schedule now for that so I'm really excited to be making videos again and I will just start in with a haul. I did um, over the past month or so I've gone out a couple times and gotten some beauty stuff and some clothes and gotten some stuff in from shopping online and I just sort of wanted to show you guys what I got because I think it's pretty exciting so I'll just jump right in with the beauty products so the first thing I got was a new L'Oreal nail polish, the Color Reach nail polish in Butterfly Kisses and it's just this really pretty, it's looking more like blue purple on the camera but it's more of like a really light pinky lilac and it's such a pretty color and I'm so excited to wear this. I was thinking about painting my nails tonight but I'm just really excited to wear this because I think it's such a pretty color and it's perfect for spring. And then I guess I'll move into face products. So I got two face products this month. The first one is a blush that I've been meaning to get for a while now. It's an NYX stick blush in the color Tulip. And it's just a really pretty pink, like hot pink color. And I really like the way it looks. So I've been really liking this. And then I also went out and got a new bronzer because the one I had last year broke. And um, this is the Rimmel London Natural Bronzer in the shade 21 Sunlight. And this is the lightest shade. Meredith is a white girl, a very white pale girl, a vampire like Edward back there. You see him, you all can see him today. So this is just a basic bronzer, um, lightest shade. Not too exciting. So I got that today. And then I guess we'll move on to eye products. So the first thing I got, some of these are out of their packages because I, again, have gotten these in... <coughs> over the past month so I've been using them. So this is the Maybelline the Rocket Volume Express. I love, this is like, I love this big fat brush. This is like the biggest brush on a mascara I have ever seen and I absolutely love this mascara to death. I think this is one of my favorites. It's, it's got a really nice formula and I just, I love the brush too. So I've been really liking that. And then I also got an NYX retractable eyeliner in deep purple because my, um, I lost my other purple eyeliner, so I just needed a new one, and this is just a dark purple. I will swatch. It's just a nice dark purple color, and I've been really liking this also. I got another NYX product. It was one of their jumbo eye pencils, and it's in the shade Cottage Cheese, which I know, guys, it sounds super appealing to put on your eyeballs, but it's just a white color that's really good for inner corners and highlighting your brow bone. So I'll swatch that, and it's just a plain white color right there. I've been really liking that. I'm in love with their jumbo eye pencils. They're great. And then I also got the Maybelline Color Tattoo 24-Hour Cream Eyeshadow in Bad to the Bronze, and I have been meaning to get this for so long. Like, I've just, it's been, like, raved about on YouTube and compared to, like, MAC Paint Pots. And it's such a pretty color. I can't, I love the, I love cream shadows, personally. It's right there. And, like, I like it because you can really, like, build the coverage. I love it so much. Alright, so I got a lot of lip products this month. Probably more than I actually needed. But that's okay because it's okay. So the first two things I got were both baby lips. I have been searching. I don't know if I talked about this in my past videos, but I have been looking for like over a month for the limited edition baby lips and it's been making me so mad that I cannot find them anywhere. And then I was at my grocery store and I've like taken to like just looking in the makeup section of every single like store I go to to see if they're there. So I was looking in my local Wegmans and I... There were two. There were like two different shades. There was this Coral Crush 
shade and then there was like a purpley color and I got this because this was one of the ones like I want all of them except for like the purple one and they only had two shades but they had a bunch of these and a bunch of the purples and they didn't have any other colors and it was so weird but I got it anyhow and it's just a light orangey shade um, I'll swatch it it doesn't come out like too orange like if you all can see that it's not too coral orangey but I got that and I got the um the quenched one because I just needed another lip balm and this one's clear then I got one of the L'Oreal, I think this is like the Aqua Caress or whatever, I don't know. It's like, I'll link it in the down bar, but it's in Pink Resistance, and I tried this on, okay, so this is so cool. It literally, like, when you use the little applicator, like, it feels like you're putting water on your lips, but then, like, the formula changes, and it feels like a regular lip gloss. It's such a pretty color, too. Like, it's just, like, a basic pinky beautiful color that I'll swatch like it literally feels like I'm dabbing water onto my hand right now but then like it thickens into a regular lip gloss feel and I really like it and I've been meaning to pick that up so I did and then I got one of the NYX new butter glosses in the shade creme brulee this is just a nice nude color and I really like the formulation of these it's not sticky at all it's like a really rich thick gloss but it's not like super sticky or anything it's right there oh my god they look like exactly the same shade except okay anyhow but I just really like the formulation of this I think these are I re I think I like these better than the original ones I don't know I really like it though um then I got two of the new Maybelline color whisper the first one I got is in the shade cherry on top and this is a really really hot pink like the best color I have ever seen it is so I literally like went across twice and that's the pigment it ha these have really great pigmentation I think I like these better than the Revlon lip butters because I feel like the Revlon the Revlon lip butters they're not sticky they're just like a heavier like more creamy um, formula and these are just really sheer but like really pigmented at the same time and it feels like you're really wearing nothing on your lips and I really like this color a lot and then I got another one in pink possibilities and this is a more neutral pink color that I will swatch right there look at all these swatches on my hands this is crazy but I really like this one too and this is like a more everyday wearable shade so I got those and then I got a color riche balm by L'Oreal in the shade rose elixir this also smells really good but yeah I would say that one's pretty close to everything I don't know I'm really bad with lip glosses because if I see one that I've been wanting I will buy it even if I have one that's like the same shade it's a bad habit don't do that if you're like me and then I did get a Revlon lip butter this was back like in January and I never showed it at all but this is in the shade Berry Smoothie and this is a darker <laughs> finding a space this is like a darker more berry color right here and I'm not really I don't look that good in dark colors but this one is actually really wearable for me specifically and I've been really liking it. So. Alright, so I also got some clothing. I went to Uptown Cheapskate. I've talked about them before. And it's a great store. Like, awesome. So I got a couple clothing items. So I got a couple pair of shorts. This first pair is neon green, neon yellow, I think. I want to say they're like neon yellow. And they have like little rips on the pockets and they're like frayed at the bottom they are by why do they put I don't where why do they like put the tag in such obscure places I think it's called it first kiss I don't know but they're just lime neon green yellow shorts and I really like them they're really cute so if you guys want a video on how I style neon shorts you can leave that in the comments down below mm -hmm. And then I also just got a pair of basic denim shorts from um, Massimo Supply Company. And these are just basic denim shorts with frays at the bottom. And I just need a new pair of shorts, so I got those. And then, OMG, I'm so excited about these. These are um, a pair of American Eagle 
shorts and they are so cute they're little they're sear sucker shorts and they're like red stripes omg you guys they're adorable i can't they're so cute so i'm really excited to wear those and then i got a skirt and this is by nolly nolly i've never even heard of that but it's just a banded skirt with this crazy pattern on it it's like a tribal print pattern it's really cute. I really like it. I think it's adorable. So I'm excited to wear that too. And then I got two shirts. The first one I got is actually a sweater by Old Navy and I just thought it was so cute. It's uh, it's a red and white striped sweater and it's a chunky sweater and I really like it because it makes me look like a sailor. Yay. Yay. And then the only other thing I got was an American Eagle shirt and this is just a gray shirt with like little flowers on it I think and this is really cute too. Why am I doing this? I don't... <sighs> babushka. Russian grandmother babushka. Yeah. So that was all I got from... That was all I got from um... Uptown Cheapskate. And then I ordered a bag online because I was on Monello. Wanello? Wanello? I don't know how you pronounce it, but I am obsessed with it and I'll link it in the down bar. But I saw it on Wanello and I clicked the link. Okay, so for any of you that don't know, Wanello is basically Tumblr with links to all, like, with links to it so you can buy the stuff you see. And I saw this bag and I flipped out and I went to the link and it was on eBay for literally, it was $9, like without shipping. It cost me $12 for shipping and everything and it was coming from China, like if $3 for shipping, like that's really good. And I thought it was adorable so I bought it. It's a fox. Oh my god, I... I Oh, it shipped so fast too like it came to my house in five days and I thought it was gonna take forever because China's like way across the planet and I was so excited when I got here and I'm like OMG it's so cute I couldn't even deal with it like oh I love I just oh my goodness I love it so much and it is literally the cutest thing I have ever seen in my entire life and I literally I want to marry this bag except that would be weird so I'm not going to do that but I'm obsessed with this. So I will also link the link for that bag down in the down bar. I need to like make a list of all these things that I need to do because I always forget to do it and it's really bad of me. But yeah. So I think that was it for today's haul and I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time, hopefully sometime soon. Yay! What the hey? Swatches. Swatch, 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 swatch. Okay, that. Oh. What the hey? Maggie scratched me on my. What? Dolphins. Hey, my daughter girl. Yeah.